from the big one to the Smiler, and from the Swarm to Vampire, we have loads of different roller coasters here in the United Kingdom. 207, if you want to be precise. Now, of course, I haven't ridden all of those 207 roller coasters, even though 80% of them are probably just these little things. But today, out of the ones I've already ridden, I wanted to narrow down a list of my top 25 favourite roller coasters in the UK. I haven't done this in a good few years, so I thought, you know what, I'll finally get round to doing it because, oh boy, my list has changed a lot. Either way, if you are new around here and you do go on to enjoy this video, then please subscribe. We're also riding what's probably one of the top 10 worst roller coasters in the UK all day for charity soon, so a donation would be much appreciated. Link down below. Without further ado we've got 25 coasters to go through let's get into the list at number 25 we have nickelodeon streak a wooden roller coaster at blackpool pleasure beach that is noticeably very orange at 24 we have kumali at flamingoland a vacoma slc that's probably the smoothest of the lot you're gonna get number 23 vampire at chessington world of adventures it's an arrow suspended coaster and as much as i'm not a huge fan of this ride that drop towards the end into the tunnel gives it this placement at number 22 is mumbo jumbo at Flamingoland, an SNS El Loco coaster co 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 that stole the steepest drop record off Saw the Ride after it had it for a week. It's a weird ride, it's quite weird, and it's also very weird, but it's fun nonetheless. Number 21, Grand National at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Huh? If you sit on a wheel seat, this ride could be a whole other story, but for a wooden coaster as old as it is, it does run quite smoothly if you don't sit on that wheel. Oh, God. <laughs> Numero 20 is Spinball Wizard. <laughs> This is a Marathon spinning roller coaster that is actually pretty good. I mean, it's not overly long, but please replace it with a Mac One though, Towers. I'd, I'd love that. Number 19 is Rage at Adventure Island. This is a Gerslauer Eurofighter that's bright yellow and purple. Those colours just scream rage to me, to be fair. It's decently smooth. It packs a punch for how small it is. Good ride. Number 18 is Velocity at Flamingoland. Manufactured by Vacoma, you sit on a motorbike and just... It's a very unique experience to have here in the good old kingdom that's united. Number 17 is Rita at Alton Towers. Now, with everything I've said about this ride in the past, you'd think it'd probably be at least number one or two. But in all fairness, it does the job, I guess. I mean, the launch is good. The rest is quite forceful, but very short. And it just exists at Alton Towers. Number 16 is Colossus at Thorpe Park. The inversions are cool. At points, it can be quite intense. And um, it can also be quite jolty at points two. Number 15 is a shocking one. <laughs> that being Shockwave at Drayton Manor. Now this ride is very underrated in my eyes. It's got some really good forces, some fun inversions, and being stood up the whole time is very odd. Number 14 is Dragon's Fury at Chessington World of Adventures. I need to stop saying the full name of that park, I'll just say Chessington. This ride is another marathon spinning coaster and has a lot longer of a layout than Spinballs and it's 10 times more crazy. Number 13 is Revolution at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. If it wasn't just a forwards loop and then a backwards loop, I'd put it much higher, but it's so underrated nonetheless, and it's so much fun and also terrifying. Number 12, although realistically it should be 13 because it is 13 at Alton Towers. <laughs> this is an Intamin manufactured roller coaster with a drop track, spoiler alert, a backwards section in the dark and more. It's such a good ride and uh, just, I love that ride so much. The woods are just crawling through it, you know, and it's even got a launch at the end. 11, the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the tallest roller coaster in the UK at the moment. Thorpe Parker building a new roller coaster? No way. Not too much going on, but it's still a good ride. The top 10 has finally been reached. Coming up in the top 10, there may be some controversial ones, so who cares? At number 10, we have Galactica, the B&M flying roller coaster at Alton Towers. And as much as this was the first of its kind, so the sort of prototype, it's still tons of fun. I mean, the fly to lie section is great and the barrel roll corkscrew thing is good too. And it's for sure one of my top five coasters at Towers. Number nine is a coaster that people may not know how to rank or might not even agree with in the slightest. That is Mandrill Mayhem at Chessington. As much as it's a family thrill coaster, it still packs an absolute punch. And put capacity aside for a second, and it's just an amazing ride. Each row is unique in its own way, and every ride feels different in its own way too. I really do love this coaster. 
Big love to the Mandrill. Number eight is one of my top three coasters at Alton Towers, considering Nemesis is now gone, so that can't make the list. So sad. Oblivion. It's such a short ride and you spend half of it on the drop. But that drop is extremely intense and sort of plummeting all the way down underground to then come up again as much as that's such a short experience of time it's lovely thoroughly enjoy this ride number seven is nemesis inferno the only nemesis on this list a bnm inverted coaster that is a very intense coaster experience got four inversions with a very rare interlocking course room mm, yes yeah, very nice it's a very good coaster but it doesn't make my top three at thought number six does though and that is the swarm at thought park if you hadn't guessed already. This B&M wing coaster was the second of its kind in the world, and it had the first wing over drop ever. It's very frightening and very tall. It's got four inversions, although some people count that as one. You do you. It's intense, a tad short, but it's quite good. It's top five time. What are my top five roller coasters in the UK going to be? Mm. At number five is one I very much talked bad about last time. So I'm quite surprised it's this high up. I mean, you'd expect it to change considering that was about 78 years ago. Saw the ride at Thorpe Park. It's a Gerslauer Eurofighter that is situated next to Colossus and the Project Exodus site, which means most of the time now enthusiasts use this ride as a way to see that site. But either way, it's a brilliant ride and it's a lot smoother than it ever has been. It's whippy, it has some amazing inversions, and not to mention, completely forgot, the indoor section and the theming inside there too. Oh, just, it's such a big part of the experience. Although that isn't my favourite ride at Thorpe Park, because that title goes to stealth at number four. This Intamin Accelerator goes up to a height of 205 feet and reaches 80 miles an hour. Crazy, I never knew that. It's such a fun ride that goes extremely fast, and on that front row, that launch is absolutely incredible. Good ride. Time for the top three. And at number three, this is going to be a surprising one, so don't kill me over it. We have an Alton Towers roller coaster, one with the most inversions in the world. That is the Smiler. It's an absolutely wonderful roller coaster and it's extremely intense in certain sections. It has a lot of inversions, funnily enough, and it even packs in two lift hills. Incredible. But my favourite part on it is still that airtime hill and maybe even now I'd say the two dive loops are up there as well. A record breaker and a world class roller coaster. Enjoyable. Go ride it. At number two, we have another world class roller coaster, this time being Wicker Man at Alton Towers. And the reason I put this so high up is because of the full experience that the ride provides. The queue line's amazing, the pre show's amazing, and the coaster itself, they're all they're all brilliant. And yes, I put it over the smiler. Please don't shoot me. I just love the airtime and the speed of a back row ride on this thing. I mean, it absolutely throws you about, and some of the elements on it are amazing. My favorite part is definitely that first drop, or even the second drop afterwards but then the hills through the structure as well are insane too I don't know it's what I think personally is the best coaster at towers and I don't say that lightly so in first place the best roller coaster in the UK in my humble opinion I mean if you've noticed there's been one ride that I've missed out this entire video so you probably know what it is by now and that is of course the walking dead the ride icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach the Mac multi launch roller coaster that isn't the most intense thing in the world but it has a lot of airtime and whippy transitions that make up for it and I absolutely love loved this thing the minute I first rode it five years ago. That's horrible. Why is life going so fast? The two launches on it aren't that fast, but it does what it sets out to do perfectly. The coaster looks really nice. The stylization of it does the job and the color scheme is very good. Shoebox Station is my personal highlight though. <laughs> All the coasters on this list are amazing and most of them in the UK are too, except from one. And we're going to be riding that one all day long for charity soon. Please help us, subscribe, and leave your top 10, 20, or 25 in the comments below.